Indian thoughts. What up? What up? What up? Brian, what's up? What's up? William, what up? TJ, Anthony Douglas. Blee, what up? Bama, Texas, what up? What up? What up? Hit the like button. Put the coin in the comments. Uh, who else we got? Michael Roden. Lee Thomas said I'm on the right path. <laughs> yeah, man. Elwood, what up? Lula, yeah. It's coming. It's, it's downloading every day. John, Erica, Eddie, what up? Robert, what up? Be okay. What up? Lula, how you doing? How you doing? Thomas, uh, Eddie, <clears throat> Clay Duncan. Okay. I've been studying a lot of Buddha, a lot of Hindu stuff lately because after after I done the research on the Grand Canyon with the Buddha, um, yo, what up? What up, Nas? Nas Tram. After I studied the Grand Canyon with the Buddha statues, King Sedapri, and um, they got the Temple of Vishnu, the Temple of Brahma, all that, right? This is Brahma. This is Brahma, right? Let me show y'all who it really is. <laughs> this is Brahma, okay. Let's get into it. That was Brahma. This is Puta, creator God, same Thing. It, it's just really starting to narrow down to all of the religions came from our people. <laughs> That's the only way I can say it, man. Because my research is showing me that Hindu gods are Egyptians, bro. They just renamed them, re, you know, same stories. Same everything, bro. It's crazy, man. Let me show y'all that one more time. Show y'all that one more time, man. Because this is crazy. It's like six of them. Brahma. Brahma. Puta. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all something. Okay. Brahma. You see he's sitting on top of a lotus flower, right? You see he's sitting on top of a lotus flower, right? Brahma. On the lotus flower. Check Puta out. Lotus flower, Puta, creator God, same shit. <laughs> Roll the coin, man. Roll the coin. Put the coin in the comments. Put the coin in the, on the gifts, man. <clears throat> No, uh, I got, I, hey, um, Lee Thomas, I got Shiva too. I got Shiva too. I got Shiva too. I got all of them, bro. I got all of them, bro. Don't even worry about it, bro. Just, just stay calm. Stay calm, man. Then we got, we got Garuda with the eagle pose. We got Garuda. Guess who Garuda is? <laughs> Put in the comments who y'all think Garuda is, man. I'm gonna let y'all answer the question. Match Garuda, match Garuda with an Egyptian god. Match it up. Put it in the comments. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask y'all some questions today. I ain't even gonna answer. The, I'm a, a bird deity. Who is a bird deity in Egypt? Not Thoth. You could say Thoth on the slick side, but we ain't gonna go Thoth. Who is the Egyptian with the bird face? Not quasi Coda. Horus. There you go, um, Stephen Jeffrey. You get an A, you get an A in class today. <laughs> Horus. Same shit. <laughs> a plus. A plus, man. A plus for all. Uh, a plus, bro. You get an A plus. <laughs> so we are, I showed y'all. I showed y'all Garuda. Let's see who, who we got next. Let's see who we got next. 
Now, this is Shiva right here. This is Shiva. This is Shiva. Who y'all think Shiva is? Egyptian deity, who you think Shiva is? Put it in the comments. Let's see who's going to get an A plus today. Who is Shiva? Look at the color. Anubis, nah. Who is Shiva? An Egyptian guy. Like the same story, the same headline. Osiris, okay. Who, who that got an A plus? Somebody just got an A plus. Somebody just got an A+. Plus. Who is that? Who said it first? <laughs> Who said it first? Shan, A+. Plus. Osiris, let's keep going. We got more. We got a whole bunch of these motherfuckers. Don't even, don't even stay. Just stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. This is, um, I can't think of her name right off the top of my head. But she is, she is doing, guess who she is? Guess who she is? Guess who she is? Watch this. Isis. <laughs> Isis. That's who she is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the names right. There's so many names. It's crazy. I got more. I got more. I got more. Stay calm. This Vara. This, she got a long name, but it's called Vara. Guess who she is? This is a man and a woman deity. Man and a woman deity, Hindu. Guess who she is? Watch where? Man and a woman deity. <laughs> it's the same shit. <laughs> bro, they need to, bro, these folk crazy, bro. These folk know they be knocking off the knowledge. But let me show y'all one more. Let me show y'all. I got two more, really. I got two more, really. Boom. Goathead. I put. I. I just put the video in my arm or the names. The video, all the names, are in. I just dropped the video on this. Look at this one. Guess what this one is? Boom. <laughs> Same shit. Bro, the whole religion with Jack, bro. God damn, bro. I think I got one more for y'all, man. I got one more. Then I'm going to talk about something else. I got one more. Hold on. I got one more. Boom. This is the lion head um, Hindu deity. And it's a really, it ain't nobody but guess who? Guess who? The lion head. Y'all know who that is. Y'all know who that is. Boom. Shamet. <laughs> oh, man. These folks got this shit for black people, man. I knew it. I knew it. Y'all already, I already showed y'all. I already showed y'all the Buddha with the corn and the black Buddhas. And I know where it come from now, man. It's crazy, bro. This is crazy. Put the coin in the comments, roll the gift on the coin. Appreciate it, Shane. This is crazy, man. Now I understand the shit they supposedly found in the Grand Canyon. Now I understand it because it was Buddha-like shrines in the Grand Canyon. But at the same time, Akhenaten's son looked just like Buddha. Akhenaten's son ain't nobody but Buddha. They took the whole religion. His name is King Setuprin. King Setuprin. Look him up. Look just like Buddha. <laughs> Man, this shit is crazy. But let me show y'all something else. Something they don't want to show us, bro. Let, let me show y'all something they don't want to show us. Okay. Boom. Okay, let's talk about the old mix. Let's get, let's get, into, let's get into some great shit. Appreciate that, Jason. Appreciate that. The old mix maze guy holds significant... Um, cultural importance in Mesoamerican society, particularly for the Olmec civilization. Corn was a stable crop for the Olmecs, played a, a um, central role in their daily lives, and um, the deity symbolized in significance. Corn gods. 
But these were the first people to grow corn. The mound builders were the first people to grow corn. But I'm going to show y'all something. These corn gods are AKA the same thing as Osiris, bro. The, this corn god is AKA also known as Osiris. The same shit. I'm telling y'all, bro. Osiris sprout up with corn when they put them in the tomb. Same thing these, the old mix were trying to tell people, but they didn't put it together. They didn't put it together, bro. The mound builders grew the corn first, then it went to the old mix, then it went to the Mayans and Incas, and then it went to Africa too. These are corn gods, bro. Egyptians ain't nothing but corn gods, bro. <laughs> For entertainment purposes only, TikTok. Now let's keep going. They don't want to show y'all that these folk were corn, that the old mix had corn deities and corn, because they you're going to put it together then. You're going to understand. I told y'all it ain't about all the intellectual shit. It's about agriculture. We trying to eat, bro. Agriculture is the first knowledge on the face of the earth, people. Fuck all that pineal gland, God conscious, the chakras, all that's cute, but you got to eat first. <laughs> eat, you got to eat. Roll the corn. Put the corn in the comments. Put the corn in the gifts. Corn deities. You see it. Oh, man. They whole religion was agriculture because they knew. You got to feed the people, bro, to start a civilization. We can't build no old mech head and we ain't eating around this motherfucker. We got to eat. Simple. Roll the corn, bro. I might change the name of this page to roll the corn, bro. <laughs> Children of the fucking corn. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, man. All right, what we got next? Where I was it? Okay, let's get here. Let's get here. Uh, is it right there? Okay. Represented through <clears throat> distinct iconography, the maze god imagery can be found in ancient sculptures. Studies suggest the potential influence of the Olmec maze god on later corn deities in Mayan and other cultures. What's the other cultures that had the maze god? What is the other culture? Y'all just gonna say Mayans and other cultures. What's the other cultures? Don't have the knowledge. Tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Don't say Mayan and other cultures. Say Mayans, Nubians, Aztecs, Mayan. Say, say Buddha. Say motherfucking, um, um, <laughs> <laughs> say the Sumerians, say all of it. Don't just say other cultures. Tell the whole truth. Now look, understanding the religious belief and practices of the old mix provides insights into worship of a deity. That's where the deities came in at with agriculture. It, Osiris wasn't the first deity with the corn. He is nothing but down the line from these people, down the line. Now we got Osiris, the agriculture god. But this is the first agri these are the first agriculture gods in America. Look, worshipped deity. Shed light on the Olmec maze god. Lasting legacy. It was about the agriculture people. Don't let these people tell you all this old high-ass and mighty knowledge about everything else. Talk about the corn first. Talk about the agriculture, the black soil first. Who done it first? The mound builders and the old mix done it first. I told y'all the old mix ain't nothing but the mound builders evolved years after years later. That's all they is, bro. And then they took that knowledge to other places. I'm putting it, I showed you that all that Buddha shit came from Osiris. I showed you that Osiris was really a corn god. It all come back to here. It all come back to here. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. 
Where I was it? Okay. Am I at the word Jaguar yet? I don't think I'm at the word Jaguar. Let me see. Depicts the maze god with a long gated head. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show y'all. Okay. Maze God depicted with a long gated head and almond shaped eyes, bro. A long gated head? Who else had a long gated head? Nubians, mound builders, Egyptians, Omex. We know the truth now. Same fucking people. Elongated heads. Corn gods. I told y'all that shit. Same people. We got people on the internet. These people are aliens. They got Anunnaki blood. Why the old mix ain't got no Anunnaki blood? They got elongated heads, Billy Carson. You a fucking liar, bro. Tell the truth. We still a fuck with you if you tell the truth. <laughs> you ain't got a lot to kick it. You ain't got the lie to kick it, bro. Elongated heads in North America, Central and South America. Elongated heads already over here in North America, bro. Y'all see Akhenaten with a long head. He ain't nothing but a fucking corn. He come from, his bloodline come from here. That's why Akhenaten and Nefertiti was found on the wall in the Grand Canyon, bro. Them corn gods, bro. Them ain't no goddamn Egyptian. For entertainment purposes only. Come on, man. Akhenaten's son statue and Akhenaten is on the wall in the Grand Canyon. Supposedly. <laughs> For entertainment purposes only. Why are they in the Grand Canyon and, 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 and this corn god shit going on? Why is Osiris the god of agriculture? Put the, think about it, y'all. Think about it. If these people were making maize gods dead long ago, where the rest of these deities come from? Where Buddha come from? Where, where are the Egyptians are out of Where did the Nubians get the knowledge from? That's what they don't want to show you, bro. They don't want to show you that it came from here all the way to fucking India, all the way to Egypt, all the way to China, all the way to... It went everywhere. We took it everywhere. If we can get the knowledge to Egypt, we can get it to China. It ain't that hard. Simple. Beef, it started out with maze gods. It didn't start out with no Horus, the eye Horus. It didn't start with all that... Egyptian shit. That's the end of the knowledge. This is the beginning of the knowledge. The maze gods. These are people building the mounds and the pyramids first. Why are old mix building mounds and pyramids and they maze gods? Think about that. Just think about that. Let's keep going. Now let's talk about the word Jaguar. Let's talk about the word Jaguar. Because he ain't nothing but a maze god, too. Possible influence on Mayan corn god and other cultures. The old Mech maze god is considered a precursor to later corn deities in Mesoamerica and South American cultures, including the Mayans, Aztecs, all these motherfuckers. Although the lack of written history makes it challenging to identify old Mech gods by specific names, they, they don't want to put the name on it. He ain't got no, oh man, God ain't got no name. They know it's Osiris. They know it's Osiris, bro. The, these archaeologists and shit know the name. They won't tell you the name. They don't want you to link American corn people with Egyptians. They don't want you to link that up. They're not, they're going to say specific names. Y'all know the name. Y'all know the name. Quit playing. Stop playing, bro. New clues that may shed light on the Olmec maze god and his connection to other deities. What other deities y'all talking about? Y'all can't figure it out? <laughs> you smart motherfuckers, okay? You smart archaeologists and, and all these historians, y'all can't figure that out? 
And Osiris laying in the in the casket with corn growing out his goddamn chest. Come on, man. Come on, bro. These people believed in the same shit. The mound builders believed in the same shit the Egyptians did. We know the truth now. I'm telling I can prove it. I can show it. I can all of it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let me see if I had the word Jaguar. Okay. Connection between, okay. Connection between, this is a significant connection between the word Jaguar and the mage deity in Old Mech belief system. The word Jaguar is often portrayed alongside the maze god, emphasizing their intertwined significance. The maze god symbolizes the cycle of life, death, and re regeneration. Regeneration. Remember that. Remember that. Regeneration. That's what they say about Osiris. That's the same shit they say about Osiris. Regeneration. Sprinkle his ashes. Corn gonna grow. Regenerate. The same deity. They just won't put no name on it, bro. They won't put no name on it because they know. Y'all gonna be like, damn, that shit come from a man. They won't put no name on it, bro. They won't put no name on it because they know. Y'all gonna be like, damn, that shit come from a man. It was, what's this one? Okay, notable objects and figurines featuring the maze gods. Among the prominent figures depicted in Old Mech art, the maze god holds a special place. The maze gods hold a special place. Various objects or figurines featuring the maze god have been discovered, highlighting the deity importance in old mech culture. He got the, he was important with the old mechs. He was important with the mound builders. He was important with the Nubians and Egyptians. The Sumerians got it and made it important. We know the truth now. The old mech maze god is Osiris. I just wanted to show y'all that, man. And, and every time I say corn god, the internet try to knock my shit down, bro. I don't find nothing but brown skin people. Give people and I look up Hoblo Group A. And I can show y'all a, a quick a quick one of Hoblo Group A. This is Hoblo Group A, y'all. The sand people, they Hoblo Group A. Them black people, bro. They brown-skinned, melanated people from Africa, Hablo Group A. So all I'm trying to show you is, if the old mix was Hablo Group A, these people Hablo Group A, what kind of people they was? Y'all need to quit lying to my people, bro. Quit lying to my people. I got the receipts. I got the receipts. Boom. Old mix, Hablo Group A. Hablo Group A, old mix. You see it. Americans. Talking about them Native Americans. Quit playing, man. Quit putting the misinformation out, bro. These people were, the old men were brown skinned people, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> we know the truth now. Old Mick. Hablo Group A. Two subjects were tested and had Hablo Group A from bones from Old Mech Mounds, man. Hablo Group A. We know the truth now. And I'm going to sit there and say I'm Native American. And then I go find Hablo Group A. People still got the same Hablo Group. Look, this will pop up. Our same people. God bless these people. For real, man. Shit ain't even hard no more. Ain't even hard. Hablo Group A. Hablo Group A was in South Africa and the in the in the uh, the Horn of Africa. The Horn of Africa. Who lived in the Horn of Africa? Put it in the comments. Who are the, the great people who lived in the Horn of Africa. Put it in the comments before I get out of here because I want to see if y'all are learning. I want to see if y'all are learning. And I'm going to show y'all where these people come from. Everybody else is L. Hablo Group L in Africa. Who lived in the Horn of Africa? 
who built everything, who were traders, who had all the gold, the mining, who, who had it? Not the same. Uh-uh. How come they aren't great today? Barbarians. The reason they're not great today. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know why they're not great. You know why they're not great. Invaders, colonizers. You know why they're not great. Who lived in the Horn of Africa in ancient times, y'all? Come on now. What's the name of the people? It's not the Moors. No, it's not the Moors. Come on, y'all. Israelites a good answer. But it's not the, it, it's Israelite, that's, that's the correct answer. But it's another name, y'all. Come on, think. Who lived in Lower Egypt? Who lived in Lower Egypt, bro? Cush, the Nubians. Cush and the Nubians lived in the Horn of Africa, bro. They come from America. We know the truth now. That's how blow group A. Just like the old mix. Y'all better get this shit right, bro. <laughs> y'all better get it together, bro. I told y'all I ain't come to play. I didn't come to play. Let me show you something else. This is the Horn of Africa. This is the Horn of Africa. What they say right there? What they say right there? Let me zoom in. Kushites. Whoa. Kushites, Horn of Africa, Hablo Group A. Okay. Nubians in this area. The Nubians taught the Egyptians everything they know. The Nubians traded with the Assyrians, the fake Anunnaki, get, taught them everything they know. Y'all better get down with this knowledge, bro. Them people came to that area. They not from that area. They came to that area on a boat. Horn of Africa. This is Nubia. Egyptians was up here. Nubians were down here, man. Hablo Group A. We know the truth now. Look at him. What you put? What you put your hand over your face for? What you put your hand over your face for? Let me pin you. Who is your name? Egeron. Egeron. What do you have to say? Do you want to get up and talk? Do you want to get up and talk? Because everybody know everything. Come talk to me. Tell me what happened. Go on, tell us we all Africans. You want to get up and talk? Send your invite. Put, a, put your question in the, in the comments. Please. Put your question in the comments. Because y'all know everything, bro. Come talk to me. Bad motherfucker. Come talk to me. So what had happened was, I got, I, got, I got the hecklers in here. But it's cool. It's cool, bro. Because this is science. This is science. And this is, you can't go against none of this shit no more. Hoblo Group A, Nubian Hoblo Group, Omeg Hoblo Group. You can't go around it no more. Them is not no fucking, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Them is not the people y'all think they is. They lying with all this research. They lying, bro. Because ain't no way in the hell y'all going to say Hoblo Group A is them people. And when I pull up Hoblo Group A, it looks just like our people. It don't make no sense. Sci they've been these scientists is putting out false information, bro. They putting out false information. Because it don't go together. Because when I go to Hoblo Group A, it's supposed to go straight to Asia or something. It don't supposed to go to Africa. Y'all talking about in y'all in the videos, y'all be tagging me in that them people talking about Asians. And it's and when I pull it up, it go to Africa. It don't make no sense. It go right to the Horn of Africa in South Africa. It don't make no sense. Roll the coin, Cherokee guy. <laughs> Roll the goddamn coin, man. These people don't understand that. They lying to them and they don't even know no better. They not doing no research. They not looking up the people. You got to look this stuff up and see who you, what kind of people you dealing with, bro. Yeah, they did not acknowledge because it's not coming from the government, man. But like I said, bro, I wish I could find 
Y'all roll the coin. Let me find some. I'm going to be right back. Let me get a receipt right quick. Let me roll, roll the coin. Gifts and in the comments. Roll the coin. I'll be right back. Let me get a receipt. All right, but let me get a receipt right quick. Let me roll, roll the coin. Gifts and in the comments. Roll the coin. I'll be right back. Let me get a receipt. Coin. What the hell is that? What is that? That's Osiris. What is that growing out of Osiris? Corn God, man. <laughs> I got some more. Roll the corn. Roll the corn. I got more. Roll the corn. <laughs> I got some more. Roll the corn. Roll the corn. I got more. Roll the corn. Mummy. Corn mummy. Osiris. Grain, wax, earth, wood, corn, fertility. Check it out. <laughs> bro, it's shit too easy, man. It's too easy, bro. It's too easy. It's too they have ritual festivals, so-called corn mummies. Corn, throwing corn ritual festivals in Egypt. Why are y'all doing that? They done this shit in America first. <laughs> corn mummies, man. We know the truth now. Roll the coin, man. We know where these people come from. This ideology come from now, man. These corn gods, man. <laughs> Let's check it out, man. Images of Osiris made of grain, wax, and earth. Wooden coffins. The wooden coffins came from California. The fucking conifer tree. Come on. Were created in connection to such annual festivals as Kiosk, which linked the god Osiris, Osiris to the fertility of the earth. The grain sprouted from the earth, symbolizing renewal, re, rejuve, rejuvenate. I just showed y'all that with, with the fucking old mix. Same shit. The same old mix were doing the same ritual. And the cycle of life and death. Old Mix were doing this same ritual, bro. <laughs> I showed y'all this shit. Let me go show you one more time. Let me show you one more time. Y'all think I'm bullshit. Watch this. Let me see can I find it one more time, man. Uh, this the one? No, nah, this ain't it. This ain't it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's the one with um, rejuvenation. Let me see. Hold on. Represent the fertility. Ferti fertility. Agriculture. Same shit. But I'm going to show y'all what they say. They wanted to... Um, Damn, I just had it. Where is it? Where is it? Give it to me. Worship. Uh, every, uh, shit like... That ain't it. That ain't it. It's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. Here you go. Symbolizing the cycle of life and death and regeneration. Life and death and regeneration. That's the same shit they say about Osiris. Now watch this. Same fucking thing. Life and death cycle. Same shit, the renewal. The same shit. I'm out of here, man. That's enough, bro. Roll the coin. Roll the coin, man. It's the same fucking thing, bro. Y'all gonna try to separate this shit like these people different. It's the same thing. Life and death. Rejuvenation. Corn mummy. Osiris. Right? Life and death cycle, regeneration, God similar. It's the same God. You smart ass YT archaeologists couldn't figure this shit out, or y'all just had it, or y'all just had it. It's the same. God. Ooh boy. I see why the FBI be in my line putting up red flag. The FBI got in my line with the red flag. Look at him. They told you. 
Look at him. I'm afraid you have, they told me what? They didn't tell me nothing. Matter of fact, get out of here, man. You ain't here heckling, bro. You ain't even. Let me get you out of here, big dog. You ain't got nothing else to do. Block party. Get him out of here. Roll the coin, man. Block party. I ain't, it felt good to block somebody. I ain't blocked nobody in a long time. <laughs> it feel good to block a heckler. Get your ass out of here. You're not talking about nothing, bro. And I'm sitting here showing you the same thing they say about the maze God. They say about Osiris. I'm sitting here showing you vital information, and you want to reject it, man. You can't reject what you can't reject what what the universe love. The universe love the truth. That's the truth, man. That's the truth. And I'm gonna put a video out about this. And, and, and juice it all the way up. And then y'all go subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube. And this weekend, I'm going to say Sunday. I'm going to start dropping 30-minute hour lectures, bro. And I'm going to start letting y'all know on here. I'm going to go live on here. And I'm going to take you to the YouTube. And we gonna, I'm going in like Dane Calloway on that bitch. <laughs> Whole hour worth of knowledge. Because we got to understand what's going on with this stuff, man. They believed in the same people, man. We know the truth now. And I'm going to show y'all a mound builder artifact with Osiris. I'm, 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 I'm that hell with it. I'm that cold with it. I'm going to show y'all some mound builder Osiris ideology. I'm going to show that to you. You're going to be like, God damn, bro. Egyptians came from over here. Come on, man. Oh, that's cold blood. That's cold blood. I see why they want us to be from Africa so bad. They want us to be from Africa so bad, bro. I see why. I see why. They don't want you to know all the religions, all the knowledge came from here. And your ass came from here too. You've been here for so long. They don't want, they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that, bro. And then it started to show all the other religions came from that. That, that bloodline of people who were the mound builders. All the great civilizations came from them same people, bro. Let me show y'all one more thing if my phone don't die. If I can find it. I got to find it, though. It, it, it's, it's about the elongated heads. I might not be able to find this, y'all. This kind of, this kind of, I got a bunch of receipts. I got, it's so much shit. It's so much shit. But it said, matter of fact, I ain't gonna show y'all. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I don't even wanna look for it. I don't wanna look for it. I'm just gonna tell you. It said the elongated heads were one species who migrated around the world, bro. The elongated headed people, one species of people original to the earth migrated around the world, bro. But the oldest elongated heads, North America. Fact. Fact. Mounds in North America, 11,000, 12,000 years old. The old mix ain't that old, bro. The old mix is not 10,000 years old, bro. The mound builders are. The mound builders are. It ain't no way in the hill. It ain't no way in the hill. Ain't no way. Let me show you one. Let me show you something else right quick. I'm just putting the pieces together. And ain't no way the mound builder was building shit like this with Egyptian old kingdom signs on them, bro. And pyramids and pillars and sphinxes. The mound builder was building this before the old mix even built their first fucking head, man. This was already built in Michigan. They already had the same ideology, y'all. Look, mound builder relics. Mound builder relics. This ain't no made up shit. They hid this. They don't even want you to see this. This ain't in no museum nowhere. This a book from 1890 something, bro. They don't want you to see that the mound builders believed in the same thing the Egyptians did, bro. Then it went to the old mix. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that, bro. Akhenaten them, them, them pharaoh with them long ass heads evolved from mound builders, bro. 
Simple. It's simple. It's simple. Hieroglyphics found over here. Cuneiform found over here. Tablets, just like the tablet that, that um Billy Carson always talking about the Emerald Tablets. They done found them tablets all over North America, bro. Them ain't the only tablets with no cuneiform on them, man. Quit capping, bro. Man, I, I got receipts. I don't, you know, I don't play. You know, I don't know, I don't bullshit. I don't bullshit one day. I got receipts. I got tablets with cuneiform on them. I got tablets with cuneiform on them. I got tablets with cuneiform on them out of Michigan with the all C and I. I got I got I got I got I got I got receipts. I don't know about the rest of these niggas. I got receipts. I ain't just talking shit. I ain't just talking shit. Look at that. Look at this. Hold on, hold on. That's the, that's the wrong one. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. This is found in Michigan, bro. Look at that cuneiform. Why are the mound builders right cuneiform, bro? And the fucking Sumerians supposed to made it up. They capping. They capping. This shit was wrote over here first. This shit was wrote over here first, bro. That mean I that mean Iosis, bro. Iosis. They took Iosis word and turned it into Jesus. <laughs> this is cuneiform in North America, bro. They can cut all that Sumerian Anunnaki shit. We were writing this shit in the mounds thousands and thousands of years ago. This come out the mounds now. In America. Check this out. Mound builder. Mound builder. Elongated head. Just like the Egyptians. Why y'all not calling them aliens? Why y'all want to call the Egyptians aliens, but these ain't no aliens? Y'all don't even want us to know these people even existed. Come on now. Same people. We just, just older over here. That's all. Same shit. Same shit. Check it out. Mayans. Old mix. Everybody got that long ass head. Everybody got that long head. Same people moved around. Talk, talk the knowledge. Talk the corn knowledge. Same people. Everybody got it. Mayans. Old mix. Motherfuckers over there in, in, in India. I don't know where these motherfuckers from, but it don't even matter. It don't even matter. They come from over here. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. Boom. It don't matter. We already know the truth now. Egyptian, mound builder, same head, same head. I already researched it. It's nothing. Same shit. I already researched it. Same thing. Billy Cosby like, they got elongated skulls. And they, oh, here we go. You got a receipt I was looking for. Elongated skulls appear to have a single common origin. A single common origin. The migration of people with elongated skulls is accompanied by a common culture that includes the construction of megalithic tombs, pyramids, and what? Mounds. Whoa, I'm good. I'm too good. Roll the coin. I'm too good at this shit. They better get out of my way, bro. With all that misinformation, they better get out my fucking way. Roll the coin. Roll the coin. Elongated skulls, a single common origin. People of the earth. That's the oldest bloodline on the face of the earth. Elongated skulls. Common origin. The migration of people with elongated skulls is accompanied by a common culture that includes construction of megalithic tombs, pyramids, mounds, growing corn, growing tobacco, Osiris as the deity, a corn god. They believe in all that same shit. They the same people. Roll the corn. These are the Tartarians. Megalithic tombs, pyramids and mounds, burials with weapons. Come on, man. Social hierarchy. We know the truth now, bro. <laughs> we know who built all this shit now, man. I don't think I'm trying to say a seven foot Tartarian did it with some red hair. Get the fuck out of here, man. We know the truth now. Metals, 
See, they come, see, this is where they come with their cannibalism shit. They lying right here. Cannibalism, warfare, slavery, human sacrifice, genocide. See, they lying right there. Then they come with the red hair. Also, teens. See, that's the cap move. The red hair with the human. It wasn't human sacrifice nobody. We ain't had no fucking slaves. See, all this cap. This cap. This to, this to throw you off. This cap right there. They stop with the real shit right there with the metals. We got all the metals. We got copper. We got gold. We got goddamn. We making bronze. We doing all it. That's when they come with the cap. Redhead giants. Tartaric. Cap. Cap. Stop it. Stop it. I wish I could find it. Um, the mound builder. Um, they say with the. Uh, I might not be able to find that one, man. But I love y'all, man. Peace to the gods and goddesses. I just wanted to show y'all that. I just wanted to show y'all that, man. Y'all know I be got to show y'all that, bro. This is an ancient statue of Buddha. This is an ancient statue of Buddha with the coin, bro. Roll the coin. <laughs> this is an ancient statue of Buddha with the coin, bro. How he get that knowledge? Damn, Garuda, Shiva, y'all motherfuckers Egyptians, <laughs> y'all y'all bloodline come from ancient mound builders, man. <laughs> and we got whole cultures believe in this stuff, bro. They don't even know where it come from. I know where it come from, though. I know where all of it come from. We know the truth now, man. Like I say, y'all check the new video out. Subscribe to my live screen. I mean, my live on TikTok and, subscri and go subscribe to my t uh, my YouTube. All the links is in my page. We know the truth now, man. Y'all have a great day. We, 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 we learning something great every day. And, and we can teach the kids the truth, man. That's what this all about, man. I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. We know the truth now.